ब्रह्मचर्य प्रती दंडी सर्वेदांत पंडित श्रीमद्विवेक योगी मां प्रचोदयत सर्वदा सो आफ्टर एंजॉइंग दी वंडरफुल फ्रेग्रेंस ऑफ भक्ति the breeze that fills up the garden of bhakti the refreshing experiences which impart to us through the contemplations on the bhaktas and their lives we are now ready to step on to the third step in the viveka sopana that is raja yoga when swami ji went to united states probably he became acutely aware of a big gap between the religious understanding and a scientific approach to it and a practical application of it in the people's lives probably he wanted to present to them how religion is as scientific as any other science it can be practiced the results obtained inference taken so swami ji made use of his intense knowledge of raja yoga to present before them the signs of religion swami ji refers to raja yoga as a signs of religion what happens when i believe in a god from where the transformation of our character starts what is the mind what are the components of the mind what are the factors which help me to move to concentrate and move ahead making use of my mental faculties like that he goes in depth into the science of raja yoga and comes out with very very beautiful and useful tips the importance of this swami ji's raja yoga lectures or book is clear from the fact that when india announced yoga as an international technology for self evolution self enlightenment then people could easily refer to swami ji raja yoga there were already hundreds of yoga centers in the west people were ready to take it up because a foundation has already been laid by swami ji of this raja yoga how does he introduce us raja yoga let us read through his own words this is what raja yoga proposes to teach the goal of all its teaching is how to concentrate the mind then how to discover the innermost resources of our mind how to generalize their contents and form our own conclusions from them it therefore never asks the question whatever religion is whether we are deists or atheists whether christians jews or buddhists we are human beings that is sufficient every human being has the right and the power to seek for religion every human being has the right to ask the reason why and to have this question answered by himself if he only takes the trouble just as 
a physics or chemistry teacher will take us to the laboratory and do the experiments to convince us of the truth of the statements in the same way the great statements of our rishis who have studied intensively and extensively the human mind we can also practice and get the benefit out of it we are not planning to go in detail through swami ji's raj yoga lectures but we shall make use of his observations here and there so that how raj yoga also can be made as a upadhi as a medium for us to love india that is our concern how a great technology of bhakti karma yoga has developed and made india dear to us bhakti yoga has made india resplendent similarly raj yoga the science of controlling the human mind has made india topmost in a scientific approach to human life his behavior its achievements so raj yoga is important for us as we are stepped on to step number 1 karma yoga in the viveka sopana we have climbed on to the second step bhakti yoga and now we can see at a distance the golden peaks of the kailas of jnana yoga but we can't reach the still we are carrying a lot of luggage with us the security check raj yoga will not permit us to move so he is going to check us how clean our mind is how stable is our body how shrewd is our intellect all this will be checked before we are permitted to proceed on the path of raj yoga to start our climb to the jnana yoga as i said we are not going to extensively go through the entire raj yoga but we will pick up a few points here and there and conduct a check on ourselves make ourselves fit physically mentally intellectually and spiritually so that we can climb the steps of the raj yoga